Hi, my name is Arn Artson, and uh, I'm a furniture uh, designer and builder here in the uh, studios at 800 Kiefer Street in uh, beautiful Vancouver. And um, I'm just right now putting together uh, some uh, a pair of uh, tables that can be used either as a coffee table or together or separately as end tables. Um, a lot of my work uh, uses uh, found objects that I've collected over the years, like these uh, airplane propellers that I've bent up to make these table bases. Um, I also use helicopter uh, rotor blades and um, as you can see around the shop here I have you know, stored many, many other kinds of parts like ball bearings and stuff. Uh, right now I'm just putting this table together. It's uh, um, this piece of black walnut, or English walnut as they call it. Uh, I cut myself from trees that blew down in um, around Vancouver. This one I probably cut about 15 years ago and uh, finally using it. Um, this is actually going to be suspended above this, this part here. Uh, about three inches on these little stainless steel posts like that. So you have three of these going on here, like that. And then the bolt goes up through the post and threads directly into the bottom of the table. And so that'll sit there and float just above there like that. So you can get a visual on the uh, airplane propeller um, and its form and uh, this uh, gives a lightness to the table. If I just bolted it directly to the blade, you wouldn't see the blade, and it just gives it a heavier look, so it's just not as nice. Okay. So this is the other top here. Um, both these pieces were cut out of the same tree, so they both have these notches in them. Uh, they match, um, so this one will get bolted onto this blade like that, and these two pieces can be put together as a table, something like that. Or you can shift it over, pull this one this way. I actually like that configuration the best. Um, and that can form a coffee table if you put them together, or you can separate them and use them as two separate end tables, as I said. Turn on the plasma cutter. And I gotta turn on the fan so it sucks the dust down because that's what this table is all about. Plasma cutting uh, creates a lot of dust, so we want to get the dust out. So yeah, it's a great machine. Just pull the trigger and start cutting. any kind of template for this kind of stuff. So any shape you want, just cut it out. There you go. I can even just, with this particular machine, it's quite creative. You can just Even write your name in metal. <laughs> <laughs>